Hello and welcome to the first vlog of my Nintendo PC build. We got this little beauty kind of donated to us. I've seen it on uh, line a few times, looked fun, so I'm going to try my hand at it. As you can see, I've already taken the guts out. Probably won't use the motherboard for anything. I might take the loader for nostalgia. This is a um, the power button from a PC that we had laying around that really we did, we'd taken all but the power switch out. So I took it, kind of pay attention to what wires went where. As you can see the uh, the red and the black is the power switch. The uh, blue and the black lights up the LED. That's the actual LED here and then this is just the activity light which is on the yellow and black pair. Um, and this was attached to the PC board inside the Nintendo here. If I can lift that apart with one hand, please excuse my clumsiness. But um, anyway, you know, I still got these in here. I'm going to see if I can find some adapters to switch that over to USB. I believe they exist. Um, so I took come here this out of here, kind of desoldered it using some uh, solder wick, and then uh, I found the pinout online. You can Google it; it comes right up. It's real easy to find. Uh, but basically, the short version is that um, if that'll adjust there, well, you can't. Really, oh, it almost comes in where you can see the colors. Sorry, I'm filming this on my phone, but it it says white, red, brown, yellow, orange. Okay. Now the red and black pair for your power button go in the red and black. And since the original was red and brown, that one was easy to figure out. I kept red on red. Uh, the black, out of the, the two for the LED, the black goes in the orange and the blue goes in the white. Now this is assuming that you have the same color. You'll need to take a look. But basically, if you have one of these... Um, I mean, you do. You probably stripped it out of a computer somewhere. These two right here are your power button, and then the two right next to it are your LED. Right? And then the one below it is for the other LED. Um, I don't have the reset switch wired up to anything. Don't need to. Uh, and I already took the... There's a little metal clip that usually goes on here. That's what makes this stick in. You kids from the 90s will remember that. You pushed it in, it stayed on. Sometimes it did, sometimes it didn't because it wore out. Anyway, I took that out because you don't want this staying in if it's going to be a PC. Now, I've already taken this, but let me take you along with me on a fun little journey here, and I'll, I'll show it in action. We'll just walk over here to my server room, get the light here. And, oh, I see that somebody has stacked another PC on top of the one that I was using. In a second here. I'm going to pause this, and when I come back, this is going to magically be gone. Movie magic. Nah, no, you can tell. Camera's not even in the same position. But anyway, this is the computer I tried it on. It's one that we got in from the same batch that the Nintendo was in. Now, whenever you take these little guys off, and you can't see the colors too well on here because my phone is blocking the light, but you want to pay attention to what colors went where if it's not in one piece. And that's what the case is here. It's not in one piece. My hand's right in the way you can't see. But uh, black and white are the power here. And then yellow and, or green and white go on top, and orange and green, or orange and white go on the bottom. Now, I used to be a telco guy back in the day, so the first time I tried to wire this up, I didn't pay attention. I got that exactly backwards. But anyway, here's our Nintendo. I actually have you know, everything plugged into the back of this PC. It's going to go to that monitor right there. I don't know why I brought that in. I don't need to hear what the setting in there is what happened. Okay, I'm going to take this. We're going to plug it in. Maybe you can see, maybe you can't. Nope. You didn't see that, but that's now plugged in where the other one was. Now, can I get a shot of the screen and the power? 
Watch this. You see, the monitor's coming on, PC's coming up. Uh, I think if I recall, this particular PC had a either Windows XP or it might have been a, one of the Lubuntu flavors. That's Windows XP. I'll let it boot up because it's never a good idea to uh, interrupt a boot if you can help it. Anyway, that's where we are on this. I'm looking at some micro ATX boards. Uh, kind of having some power issues, but I have a power supply I'm going to check out to see if it might fit or if I might be able to uh, jury rig it to fit. Uh, a lot of the forums say to use a uh, Pico PSU, which is basically like a laptop power supply. It does its thing, but um, diesel. So I don't know if Razor Ramon ever borrowed this one. If you're into wrestling, you'll get that joke, and if you're not, sorry. I don't know why it's not registering the mouse. I guess I will have to do a naughty. Don't do this at home, kids. Anyway, uh, but the biggest one of those come in 200, and then the, uh, the most of the motherboards I'm looking at, well, the one I'm looking at actually 200 watts will supply that. So that's probably the direction I'm going to go. But that's all I have for right now, and I hope to keep you posted. If you like this, you know, give me a like and a subscribe. Um, it actually really helps our company, Atlas Technologies. If you go ahead and click on one of the ads, you can feel free to ignore it afterwards, but please just do us that favor. And if it infects your computer, bring it to us and we'll fix it for you. Not for free, but you know how that works. Anyway, that's where we are and more to come and you all have an awesome day.